the connection between IoT and big data. Big data and analytics are the uh, in demand and the need of the art these days because uh, IoT devices collect such abundance amount of data. We cannot uh, store them in tables and then run typical search queries on it. We need to depict them in real time so that intelligent decisions can be made right then and there. One is collection. IoT devices collect data, right? And the big data systems analyze them. Since they're small, there are millions and millions of them and all of them are creating huge amount of data. IoT devices become smarter to a level that we can measure information at a faster space, faster scale. And if this information all comes to one particular system, which cannot scale up to manage all this data, it is of no use. You know, big data is basically com collection or uh, accumulation of uh, data. Uh, that, take it a step further, to me is what IoT is. Uh, IoT devices make a good uh, collection point for useful data and, you know, receiving point from uh, backend servers for actuating something or uh, giving feedback to the user. So big data systems like Hadoop or Spark, Kafka, these are all, Kafka is a streaming server, Spark is on a Hadoop cluster which does a lot of processing. These can churn out all kinds of analytics. Now you can do a lot of uh, machine learning using Weka and you can use all these tools and you can use all these frameworks to make sense of the plethora of data that you are getting every day, hour, minute, second or millisecond. And there's a whole bunch of data that comes out of a vehicle, like how fast does an 18-year-old guy break or how long does a 30-year-old woman really ride every day. That's really critical data. Uh, that really helps you make version 2, version 3 much better. So yeah, so the ability to receive data and interpret data, ping back to the vehicle and make so critical upgrades. Firstly, everything, all our critical functions are obviously monitored right from the motor. Uh, we start off with the RPM speed. Uh, uh, today, when a manufacturer sells a vehicle, uh, it's... Uh, it's, it's sort of sold and there's, there's no connect between the user and the manufacturer. But what if I could monitor that? What if I could really understand what's happening? on the vehicle? That has great uh, value for me as a design company to actually make my designs better. Getting metrics is numbers, but how do these numbers help? Imagine us giving information to your corporation or the ward. This is the amount of water which is currently used and we predict that in next summer, you would require so much water and so much electricity. It's called predictive analysis. And this information is very critical for people. This is very critical for the government. What's, what's important is how we you use the data. Um, so that's really what, we, what we're focusing on. We have a data intelligence team at Ether that's focusing on uh, really making sense out of all this data, right? We need more people uh, more smart, creative people to make sense of the huge amount of data that has been created uh, from these millions of devices. Frankly, we see more and more of ourselves as a tech company, right? And I'm not just saying this to be fashionable or trying to impress the audience who's listening to this. This is the nature of the beast, right? I mean, if we as a beverage company have to serve our beverages to as many people as possible in a consistent fashion, if we don't invest in technology, we just can't scale. You can still have big data collecting information, but, uh, you know, extrapolate it a little further to uh, work with it, make that more efficient, uh, you know, give a feedback to the end customer using it to get the maximum out of it. That's where I would see, that's how the relation of IoT and big data as I see it.